The weather is fine and the lake water is tranquil. Don Don hopes it's a good sign for an abundant catch today. After reaching the nicest spot in the lake, Don Don casts his net. But after four hours of waiting, a good start turns out bad. Not a single fish found its way into Don Don's net. It's a good thing his friend shared with him some of his catch today. Don Don can still bring some to his family. Laguna de Bay is a large, shallow freshwater lake bordering several provinces and cities in Metro Manila. It is considered the second largest inland body of water in Southeast Asia after Indonesia's Lake Toba in Sumatra. Laguna de Bay produces about a third of Metro Manila's supply of milkfish and other edible fish. But the lake could become biologically dead in a few years if increasing pollution is not stopped. Illegal housing alongside the lake is the number one problem. Don Don's family is among 400,000 illegal people living around the Laguna de Bay. Most of them have come in from the provinces to live in these desperate conditions. They don't have proper garbage collection. Ang sistema ng basura dito, yung sa amin, sa amin lang eh. Yung kanila doon sa tinatawag nilang sa division na yan, kanila lang talaga, hindi kami pwede magano ng basura po sa kanila eh. There is no proper clean water connection. Many children fall ill from water-related diseases. Ang problema namin dito, number one sa akin, tubig. Uh, Pang-araw-araw na ginagamit yan eh. Para sa kanabukasan ng mga bata, yung kalikasan ng lahat ng mga bata. Eh, minsan pa, wala, hindi pa tumutulo. Eh, hirap ka pa magbumba bago lumabas yung tubig. Dahil sa... The water coming from the water pump is muddy and sandy. For now, the residents of Sitio Anaho continue to use water from the local supplier, according to these color-coded hoses. They believe it is safe to drink. The water comes from a water tank not far from their shanties. Hindi na namin sinunda ng ganun. Basta binalitan lang sa amin na positive na malinis ang tubig nila. Ah. The residents say they have changed their water supplier many times already because of the incidence of diarrhea among children. Two of Don Don's children have been stricken with this ailment. Yung anak ko kasi nagtayo suka. Nalaman ko na na ganun na sakit ng anak ko dahil sa tubig sa doktor na nagaling. For this, for this kami sa hospital. Kasi 50-50 anak ko eh. May namatay na nga dyan. Yung March yata yun. Tatapos lang nagka-40 yung bata dahil din siya sa tubig. Sa, pag sa didi yun ha, inuuga sa didi na sabi hindi daw pinatulo. Even though the water from the hose costs the residents so much, they make do with it. The soil underneath the stilts of the houses is full of garbage. It is dry now because the lake waters receded during summer. Rainy season is about to start again and the ground underneath their shanties will soon be filled with water from the lake. It normally reaches the floor of their bamboo pathways. Lumulutang yung basura. Mabaho. Kasi sobrang amoy. Pero tinitiis na lang namin dahil wala man kami bang puntahan. This water hose is leaking and full of patches. It cannot always be safe from bacteria, especially during rainy season. Toilets are also a big problem at Sitio Anaho. Out of more than 300 houses here, only three have toilets with a septic tank. Kaya kung may CR tayo, doon nalang sa CR ta tae, ay doon dumi. Eh kung dito naman walang CR, doon sa tubig. Diyan ang dumi, pupunta sa tubig at sasalo ka naman. Kasi kaunting ano lang yun, wala na yung dumi, sasalo ka naman, gagamitin mo doon sa tubig na yun. 
Laguna de Bay is not only a dump site, it has become a huge sewer for people who don't have toilets. The amount of domestic waste in the water of Laguna de Bay has surged past industrial and agricultural waste in the past 12 years. And this has become a big challenge to the Laguna Lake Development Authority, a government agency that oversees the condition of the lake water. Kung hindi natin ma-address ngayon, halimbawa itong yara na to, no? tapos hindi tayo pa gumagalaw, hindi tayo naglilinis, iyong tuloy-tuloy na five years ang hirap i-reverse. So kung ngayon magkakaroon tayo ng mitigation, yung ibig sabihin yung engineering intervention, uh, scientific intervention, hindi na ganun kataas o kamahal. As an officer in his community, Don Don once asked for the chairman's help regarding communal toilets with septic tank and garbage bags for every household for proper disposal of garbage, but nothing has materialized yet. Last March, more than 2,000 people from the province of Calamba, Laguna, were hospitalized after an outbreak of typhoid fever, a disease caused by water contaminated with fecal coliform. Well, uh, possibly uh, maraming uh, kadahilanan. Unang-una, baka yung mga tubo luma, nagkaroon ng uh, contamination. Kung ang tubo dumaan sa mga uh, deposito ng mga dumi, ay isa yan sa pagmumulan. Pangalawa, kung kulang din ang chlorination ng tubig, syempre yung chlorination, napaka mahalaga niyan dahil disinfectant yan. Eh. No such outbreak has happened yet at Sitio Anaho, but with the condition of their community, it's possible that one day more children and adults might fall ill here as well. Kung wala kang maayos na toilet, kung saan saan uh, nagbabawas ang mga tao, at kung yung pit privy, hukay, tapos sabay uh, tatabunan lamang, pwedeng magsip yon yung dumi sa groundwater. Uh, umpisahan talaga yun ang mga infectious uh, diarrhea, ito mga E. coli, yung mga yan, typhoid fever, yan ang mga pinakamadalas na uh, kanilang uh, mga karamdaman. Don Don's wife, Nora, is more anxious about the future of the kids in their community than whether her husband can still bring home enough fish from the lake. Pagpaalising kami dito, oo, basta bigyan lang kami ng magandang lugar din, yung hindi rin naman, yung maiiba naman sa aalisa namin. Fish is a gift from the lake for Don Don, but he is one of the many who are contributing to the death of the lake. If the likes of Don Don have no access to sanitation facilities, having clean water is difficult to achieve. Clean water is one of the basic needs of every human being. If Don Don and his family are deprived of it, what future will await his kids in Sitio Anahor?